Hey guys, it's Lindsay from the blog Repurpose and Upcycle. I did a video a few months ago about stripping furniture or stripping wood with four different methods. And shockingly, the one that came out the best was the oven cleaner. So today I'm gonna take that method and try to do a large project on a large scale and see how it turns out because um, honestly, I was so shocked at how well the oven cleaner method worked. Now the oven cleaner method has become popular um, on Instagram, on Facebook, and um, I really, when I tried it a few months ago, I really didn't think much of it, but like I said, it worked a lot better than I thought, and it was so much easier. It wasn't as messy, uh, and it wasn't as time consuming as, say, stripping with citrus strip or even stripping with vinegar. It's easy off oven cleaner. The cool thing is it's fume free, and within 30 minutes, you can start to scrub off the finish. I'm going to show you this project today on how I'm going to strip this beautiful buffet and hopefully get it down to a more weathered wood look. Let me show you. So here's the buffet. It's a beautiful wooden buffet with a finish that just doesn't match the rest of my style. So I'm hoping with um, a little oven cleaner and a little scrubbing, I can get it down to a more raw wood look. The first thing I'm going to do is shake this bottle real well and then start to spray, really soak the surface in this easy off stuff. All right guys, here it is. I have um, completely soaked it in the oven cleaner. I used about one full bottle. And by the way, I am doing this inside, next to my laundry room and I have the door wide open. So as long as, I feel like as long as you're in a super well ventilated area, um, like a garage with the garage door open, um, you'll be fine. Like I'm next to my mudroom with our large door wide open. Um, otherwise, I would do it outside, but it's a pretty day. The doors are open. The windows are open. Um, we're good. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to let this sit for 30 minutes. Um, after it sits for 30 minutes, I'm going to get to scrubbing. All right, y'all, it's been about a half an hour, and let me show you. I've got some, just some soapy water. I've got this. I'm going to douse it in some soapy water, and I'm just going to start... Um, I'm just gonna start right here and we're just gonna see, we're just gonna see what happens. Now, honestly, y'all, I fully expect this to take a handful of different coats. I don't expect this to work on the first try, but we're gonna give it a try. I might have not waited long enough, but we'll see. And by the way, this is, um, it's just like a, something you would use in, uh, when you're washing dishes or maybe scrubbing your car. It's nothing, um, it's not a special brush. Hmm. So far it's not really doing anything. I don't know if maybe I didn't leave it long enough. Um, or I might wipe it down. And then what I might do is spray a little more. And then I might need to leave it a little longer. Hey y'all, I'm going to try a little bit of a different method. Rather than scrubbing it, I'm going to use this. I tried it on that side and it worked okay. But what I'm doing is I'm just bearing down not too hard, not hard enough to um, hurt the wood, but hard enough to pull maybe the top layer off. And you can see that top layer of whatever it is. Um, the more I'm looking at this, I'm thinking it might be just a factory finish, not necessarily a poly or a, um, a stain with a poly. It might be more just a, a laminate like factory finish which might not be the greatest news for trying to strip this. 
but we're just going to, we're going to have to see. This is going to take a handful of different applications of the Easy Off. This hasn't been as easy as I thought it would be, but that's, that is life with stripping furniture. I mean, not every piece is going to strip like the other. Um, and looking at this, yeah, I'm thinking this has a more like a, a plastic factory finish on it. And this might mean that this piece will not successfully strip like the others would. So the best piece, the best piece of furniture to strip using the Easy Off is a solid piece of wood with a poly or a stain. And I was sure hoping that that's what this was. But if there's any sort of melamine or factory-like finish like that, it's just not going to strip right. And unfortunately, that's what this is. But I'm going to keep um, washing it. I'm going to keep using this. And hopefully once we get the top layer off, maybe I can strip down to pull some of that red, dark red kind of stain off. But we'll just have to see. So I've taken the, I've stripped as much as I can. And now I'm just going to scrub it. I guess I was hoping that that brown would pull off fairly easily. But it's not. And so at this point, I'm going to have to decide, you know, do I go ahead with stripping it? Do I continue? Because, I mean, I'll tell you right now, it's going to take at least three heavy layers of the oven cleaner to get this down past this stain. Um, and even then, is it, am I even going to be happy with it? So, um, but like I said, that's just, that's the life of stripping furniture. Sometimes when you really start to strip it, Sometimes you're pleased, and sometimes you have to go for plan B. Plan B. That, that's the life of a really just refinishing furniture. I do like that I feel like the, the oven cleaner really did a good job in pulling that, whatever the varnish or the factory finish was on top, it really did a good job pulling that up because now it's got a much more matte finish. It's not glossy like it was. And so even if I decide not to strip it down, um, it'll be a lot easier to finish. It'll be a lot easier to paint over it, uh, to possibly even restain it. Um, I don't know. Stay tuned and I'll just have to figure out what I'm going to do with this now. Okay guys, so I've gotten down to the nitty gritty where I'm really just cleaning all of it off and I've kind of decided to go with plan B. So when you start to strip furniture, you know pretty quickly, um, is this going to, this is going to be easy? What's the finish going to look like? And honestly, <clears throat> this piece, I don't know if it's got like a, like I said earlier, a, like a melamine or like a, a really durable plastic veneer coating on it, but it's, it's not going to strip really well. And, and that's okay. Because like I said, the good thing about um, this easy off is I feel like <clears throat> number one, it's cleaned it really well, but number two, it has at least pulled that top layer that prevents anything from sticking to it. It's at least pulled that off. So then I can go in with either paint or, I mean, maybe I might even do another, st like a stain, like a, maybe even a tinted polyurethane might even go in and, um, just change the color a little bit, make it more, uh, my style. <clears throat> so, it just goes to show that one product isn't going to work with everything. The Easy Off has worked really well for me in the past, but for this piece, and honestly, I don't think any stripper would really work that well with this piece. Um, I'm going to clean it up, uh, get it good and clean, and then let it sit a day, and I'm going to think about it and decide what I'm going to do feel like I needed to share. So this is what it looks like 
after one, one and a half really good heavy applications of the oven cleaner. And you can see it really did pull that top layer off, that whatever the varnish or whatever that layer was. Now, am I, is it what I expected? No, but that's just part of the furniture painting, furniture refinishing game. Sometimes you don't know what you're gonna get until you get in there and you just start working with the piece of wood. I probably could continue to strip and continue to sand this down, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna take this in a different direction. Um, I thought about not sharing this video, but for all the people out there who are trying the oven cleaner, I just, I want you guys to know, and this is with any paint stripper, not every piece of furniture is gonna strip well. Not every piece of furniture is gonna have that beautiful raw wood look. It all depends on the type of wood and the type of finish it has on it. So don't be discouraged if the oven cleaner doesn't work for you. It's just, it's not gonna work with every piece of wood and every piece of furniture. So the best pieces of wood that the oven cleaner will work on is wood like real solid wood with a layer of, you know, a quick layer of polyurethane or a quick layer of stain. Because I was assuming this was solid wood, but maybe I'm wrong. So anyway, guys, uh, if you learn anything from this video, just learn every piece of furniture, every furniture makeover is a learning experience and not everything always turns out the way you want it to, but I am gonna do something fantastic with this buffet. So stay tuned, I have some ideas. Thanks for watching, guys.